Hey everybody, I'm going to try to do a watch review even though I don't have a British accent. Um, and it's about this particular brand, uh, Brew Watch Company. I have not seen too many reviews for this watch or this brand on YouTube. Therefore, hopefully this review will kind of help some people out that are interested in purchasing this brand. So the model that I have is Brew retrograph with a rice bracelet with a teal dial and overall this cost me somewhere uh, around actually it cost me exactly $395 to be exact um, I don't think they collected sales tax on, on my uh, transaction I'm not sure if that was a mistake or not but uh, it cost me $395 flat the first thing that you probably want to notice um, is that the rice bracelet is actually really good quality. I'm really happy with the bracelet that I got. Uh, so I think this combination works really, really well for the square dial or the rectangular dial. But the first thing that I noticed was that when you order the rice bracelet, which is about $40 more expensive than just the one with a leather strap, it comes with a leather strap as the default so it kind of comes like this and you know as soon as you get it uh, it has a quick release mechanism here so it's easy for you to take off but as far as putting the bracelet back on the watch if you're not used to dealing with watches and putting on bracelets and changing out straps and removing links and so on then um, you're gonna have some issues because it doesn't come with any tools or instructions. So just be uh, aware of the fact that if you order the bracelet combination, it's gonna come with the leather strap as default and then the bracelet on the side, which you are going to have to manually adjust and um, attach to the watch itself. So another point that I really wanted to talk about is the, the dimensions of the watch itself. This has 38, I believe, um, 38 millimeters on the uh, horizontally um, and about 42 uh, vertically. Uh, so the watch itself is, I guess, just a mid-sized watch. However, it wears much larger than what it is stated uh, within the website as far as the dimensions. I think it has to do with the square face. The thickness of it is um, quoted as being 10.4 millimeters. However, because of the fact that it's squared out like this, it just feels a lot larger on the wrist and it looks a lot larger on the wrist as well. So a good size comparison would be the actual um, uh, Apple Watch that I have. And I don't know if you could see the size difference there. The Apple Watch is the 42 millimeter and I think the dimensions are almost identical. Um, there might be a couple millimeters off here and there, but you know, if you wanted to kind of check out what this watch would look like on your wrist and you have you know, some questions about how is a um, square casing and, and um, those dimensions are going to look on your wrist, just try an uh, Apple Watch and then it's gonna be almost identical. The Apple Watch, however, because of the fact that it's kind of curved out on the casing, wears and feels um, a lot thinner and smaller on the wrist. So let me try this on my wrist and show it to you. So here it is on the wrist itself. Um, as you can see, the dial is not a flat dial. I got the one with the teal color. Um, Teal color and the bracelet combination, I feel as though it was the most desirable combo that they had on the website. They had different combinations available. I think one with navy and another one with black, but I felt as though this was the most um, standout combination. The wrist size that I have is, I have a pretty small wrist, which is around 6.5 um, inches. Therefore, it, I think it fits okay. It might be looking just a little bit too big. Um, I'm not quite sure, but if you have uh, a larger wrist than myself, which I think most of the people do, 
then you should be fine. If you have 6.5 um, or smaller, then you probably want to kind of take a look and try on Apple Watch, the 42 millimeter, and see how that feels on you because this is gonna look identical. It just feels a little bit thicker um, and it looks visually uh, larger because of the bezels um, that are around the watch. Whereas in the Apple Watch, the bezels are you know, not noticeable as well. So that's that. In conclusion, the reason that you should probably get this watch and the reason that I got this watch um, is the actual aesthetic appearance of it and the fact that it's just a conversational starter and an attention getter. The teal dial with the rice bracelet combo, when I wear this out, I have a um, Seiko 413, Grand Seiko 413 and with the pink dial, uh, also have the Maxco Chronoscope as well as the uh, Omega Bumblebee. But out of all the watches that I have, the one that gets the most amount of attention is this particular watch. So if you like um, to kind of, I guess, peacock uh, when you go out, as far as the watch is concerned, I think this is the watch that you should get. The amount of attention that I get when wearing this watch is comparable to no other watches that I have. The negative, if there is a negative for this watch, is that it gets a lot of attention, but not every attention that you're going to get is positive. So the you know, majority of the time people ask, what kind of watch is that? Where did you get it? How much is it? Uh, is it still available? And so on and so on. However, if you have a, a lot of bro-ish friends or something like that, then they are going to, well, some of them, well, all of them, are going to make fun of you for wearing this particular watch. They're going to ask you, is that your wife's watch? Does it come with Lululemons and stuff like that? So if you're offended by, um, ribbing by your, um, you know, friends as far as the watch that you're wearing, and if you are very sensitive to stuff like that, then I would not get it, but I really don't care. I actually kind of prefer it. I think it's really, really fun. So overall, I highly recommend this watch for a price point around $400. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave it on the video and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Right? Thank you.